imagination. So good morning. Today, uh, it's Saturday morning. I thought I'd come in and, and continue to do some work. My goal was to get this done by Christmas. Uh, we're at the end of November. Uh, so uh, I've got a couple of weeks and I'm in the home stretch, but uh, there's still a lot to be done. So today, Pinscape controller day, uh, wiring. So I've got uh, a few hours, so I'm going to try and take care of as much as I can. Um, I'm going to go into this in a few minutes. A couple things. I'm wearing a different shirt because my kids, sometimes they watch the videos and they keep telling me I keep wearing the same thing. So I'm going to try and wear a different shirt um, because I do have more than, you know, three shirts, three sweatshirts. The other thing is that um, when you're following along, you know, when I'm talking about the, the pin skateboard is I'm not an expert. You know, I spend a lot of time reading the, the pinball guide uh, and, you know, I do the best I can, but this is my first project, so I don't want to put you wrong, um, you know, by telling you something that's that's not right. Because what I realized, I watched a couple of videos back, and sometimes I don't always know what things are called, and I sometimes invent words that mean something to me, or I throw six words out there, hoping that at least one of them is right. And, uh, you know, I'll also get feedback from friends saying, you know, it wasn't X, it was Y. And so just keep that in mind. It's the way that I, when I look at something, I know what it is to me. I might not call it the right thing. So I just don't want you to go to the hardware store and say, hey, I'm looking for a round thingy thingy. When we know it's, not, it's there's a proper name to it. And uh, so that's it. We're going to get started. So I'm going to do my best to explain what a uh, pin skateboard does. Um, so you have to forgive me if I mess things up terminology and the way I phrase things, but... Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading, trying to get into the details um, to make it work. But essentially, this is a input-output controller. It's the interface between the outside, the cabinet, you know, things like the button, the plin, the plunger, the start button, uh, stuff coming in. So this it sort of sends signals. And if you imagine that the different buttons around the cabinet, I really like keyboard keys on a keyboard. Uh, if you saw a couple of my earlier videos when I was sort of setting up. You know, I was pushing the shift button for the left flipper, the, this one, the enter to launch, coin in was a number. And so they're just keystrokes, which the software, software knows, you know, when it's running a game that when you push the left shift button, the left uh, flipper will, will flip. So now we've got real buttons. There needs to be a way to sort of take that information from the real button being pushed to the computer. And that's what this pin skateboard does. So wires come in. This is when the start button is pushed. Number one senses a signal sends a, a, a signal to a computer saying there's a coin in or a start or whatever. Pretty simple concept. This is really like a keyboard, if you will. Um, it just looks different, clearly. There's also an output controller, which means signals come out of this as well. For example, toys. I've got my shaker motor in there. I've got a replay knocker. I've got a tilt things. They all are connected. Um, not so much the tilt thing, because that's an input. But the output, like the... Uh, the shaker motor and some lighting and different things that'll that'll be happening this sends signal out as well so it can controls things so it's really sort of the hub or the interface um, within the computer i think this 100 bucks i don't know if the guy still makes them anymore about 100 bucks uh, you can buy different kit sets to make them yourself this was already pre-done um, there's a lot of purists will want to do the entire thing i just bought it to save time so we'll drop this in and let's start wiring. So we're inside the cabinet. I try to clean it up a little bit. Uh, and this is where I really just get over think overkill because I get paralyzed with trying to make the right decision and I don't know it's right until it's done. But essentially I, I need to lay out the boards. I've got the pin skateboard here. This is a another board that's gonna control some, some of the lighting. I've got a fuse board. Some of the things need to be protected with fuses. So it's gotta be in there somewhere. And then I've got some terminal blocks because, as you know, a lot of the blacks wires come together. They all have to common out and join together. Um, so I don't know how many I need with. I have the have the positive, you know, the five or the twelve or this whatever coming in, and I I don't know where to put these. You know, I, I so I just look at it and I think, is that right? And I just don't know what to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and start wiring. The three buttons on the left, which is the start, extra ball, and the exit button, 
they all have to end up here. They won't be fused. The blacks will all go to here. And so that's what we'll just start with. We'll just give it a go. So this is the, uh, the lighting and the switch mechanism that's inside the button. This one's inside the start button. You can see it's you know, fairly confusing because there's all, all these terminals. It's actually two things in once. It's an illuminated bulb, and the bulb is controlled by these one and this one. So when you apply a current to this side and then a, the common black one to that one, it'll illuminate the bulb. But you don't want it illuminated all the time. It's only when there's a coin in that you can actually push the start button. So this is wired back to the Pinscape board, uh, and it works in conjunction with the software. And then you've got the micro switch. There's three terminals. You're only using two, depending on the way that's wired. I mean, you can see it's normally open, normally closed. But it's, I think I think it's these two. But I'll, I'll test it. And so these two, or these two, go back to the Pinscape board. Then these two go to the Pinscape board into some power. And so that's what we're going to wire with. I'm going to, I think I'm going to solder the wires. Although I do have clips. Decisions, decisions. Here's a close-up of the back of the switches. So I can daisy chain the black common wire for the lamp, all three together. So there'll only be one black common wire going back to the power supply or my terminal block. And then the same can be said for the actual micro switch. So they'll be daisy chained together. And then a unique wire from each of them will go back to the pin skateboard. So I decided to use these little connectors, terminal connectors. And I'm going to be using the blue wire to daisy chain the 6.3 positive voltage going into each lamp with this blue wire. And then on the other end of each terminal of the lamp, there's going to be a different colored wire that goes to a different unique port on the Pinscape. I've also got a, my notebook, handy dandy notebook. So I'm going to record the numbering because I'm going to add these stickers to the numbers so I, I can follow sort of follow along. So that's the plan. So you can see a cute little Christmas decoration there. Uh, daisy chained, so there's 6.3 volts positive coming into each end of each terminal. I did that a little bit too short, but again, it's the first time I've sort of done this. Um, so go on each side of the terminals, and then it goes back to the uh, power supply. So this is what I'm figuring out. Um, 6.3 volts, going to each bulb. There's also some other bulbs here, as you know. The coin door, which is missing, they've got those two bulbs that are always on. Uh, they also get 6.3 volts. And then the launch button, the, you can't see it on here, I'll just turn that. The launch button is also needs 6.3 uh, volts. So essentially you've got three areas. You've got the launch, you've got the two buttons here, and the three buttons over here. They can all be connected to a terminal block and so only one wire needs to go back to the power supply so there are eventually going to be three sort of blue wires blue is always 6.3 going back to a terminal block which i'll leave up here and then one blue wire will go back to my power supply actually the terminal blocks that i set up before over here <laughs> I just found another thing that I needed to, to do, which is the coin door switch. Uh, this kind of works like your refrigerator when you open the door, the light comes on. So there's already like a little bracket here that, that sort of pushes against it. So when you close the door, the switch is in. And then when you open the door, it opens. And then it tells the software the door is open and that there's some sort of additional action coming along, whether it's some service buttons or something. So need to screw this in because I don't want to get it in the way of the different wiring. So for my lamp wiring, I don't need to bring the wire back to the pinscape board, the, the, the plus 6.3 volts. 
I was going to have it come up here, but I might just put a terminal block in here. So there's going to be a wire coming from the launch button from the two lamps, which is one of these, which is a blue and a black. Black is common, that can go anywhere. And then the 6.3 coming from this one. So these three blues will join here, and then I run one blue wire back through the channel, and then up here to my 6.3 volt power supply. So I've, I've wired the blue uh, from the buttons. You can see I've, I've just made one pin. There's, there's going to be a bunch more wires coming out of here, but I'm just working on things just to keep things straight in my mind. And this comes from the launch button. So there's three that are all going to need 6.3. So I'm going to use one of these, bridge them in here, and then run one back to the main power supply. I'll also run some tests to make sure that it's, everything's wired. And so we'll, that's what we'll do now. So I turned the power on, and so I just want to run quickly. I'm not sure if this is more for me or for people following, but I just want to point out a couple of things. I'm going crazy with the numbering because I think it's going to look overkill, but it's going to look it's going to be super helpful. So you can see I've got a number 32. Write that down in my notebook. So the 32 is 6.3 coming out. It runs. It's going to run on here. It's going to run to this terminal block, and then from it, uh, different numbers that go to the different buttons. So I did wire everything up just to run some checks with the bulbs. As you can see, these two are illuminated. They're always connected. They'll always be on no matter what. And so in terms of testing, it's simply applying an alligator clip to the other end of the, the terminal. Okay, so that's on there. You can't actually see it. but So the start button is on. So that's good. I'm going to put it on the... That seems extra bright to me. But it's it's working and this one did not work so I don't know if it's a bulb issue but I'll be able to test it and then on the the launch button side got 12 uh, 6.3 on that side you can kind of see it glowing there when I touch that so that button didn't work I'm gonna try that button so everything else looks good I am also gonna just in doing this I'm gonna put a common terminal block down here there's no need to run all the black common wires back to the board. So I'll just terminate the black from the common from this area into this terminal block and then run a black back to my common terminal block of my from my power supply. You see the fans? They're working. So when the cabinet turns on, the fans start automatically. So it's on. It was just me there. I I didn't actually see it, but it was actually working. It's not a hugely bright button, but the green button is working. So all lights are tested out. Uh, I'm happy. So we're going to move on to wiring unique wires back to the pin skateboard from each of the three buttons. We've got the start button, extra ball and exit. These are the colors I'm using. Orange just happens to be orange for, this, for the extra ball button. Green matches my green exit button and white is for the start button. Uh, just a word, just if you've ever done house wiring, you know green and white have different meanings. Green's usually your earth or your ground. Inside pinball uh, cabinet, wiring is very different, different sort of electrical system. So they have no meaning. It's not earth, it's, it, there's nothing. It's just simply color coordinated. So uh, just keep that in mind. So this is my pin skateboard, and I just want to run through a couple of things just to avoid any confusion. Um, you can see it's got button inputs here. That's for the actual micro switch of when the button is pushed. So that's an input, button input coming in. The actual, when it's lit, you know, the little lamp, that's actually an output. That goes on the other end of the board, or other side sort of coming out. So, because this a, a switch, is like the start button, is actually two in one. It's a lamp that gets lit when there's a, like a coin in um, and the actual switch of when it's hit. So in terms of wiring it, I'm not doing it here, so don't, I don't want you to confuse you. But 
you're not actually wiring into the pin skateboard, you're wiring to these things. I don't know what this name is, but uh, I will be connecting a terminal connector, which is this, goes on the end of the wire, and then this pin goes in here, and then that goes in there. But it won't go in there, please. And you know what? I don't want to confuse you. So this is an output, and so the light, the lamp of the switch is going to come out. So I just created a daisy chain. This is the common wire on three buttons on the right, on the left, the uh, on the micro switch. So the common wire, the black, goes back to the ground input on the Pinscape controller. So I'm just going to connect these to the micro switches. These are the, uh, the wires that control the switches, the start, extra ball, and exit. Uh, the actual mic micro switches. So I'm going to be using a brown for the start button. My uh, the violet one is for the exit button, and then the pink one will be for the extra ball. So uh, I'm wrapping up for the day. Uh, it's coming up to one o'clock. So this means I've been doing this for four and a half hours. Uh, excuse the noise, uh, my neighbor is uh, doing some renovations in there, so it's pretty noisy. But so here we go. I've wired these three buttons, the lamps and the micro switches. Uh, I've wired the coin in mechanism, so the push button to these leaf switches, the bulbs. Uh, I use these connectors here. Uh, I wired the service buttons. That was a pain because they, you know, there's five buttons. It's like wiring five different buttons. Everything's labeled. As I said, I overkill on the labels, but I think that's going to really help me uh, at the end of the day. It looks super pretty because I've used different colors wires. Then I've got the launch button. So I've got the two wires here for the lamp, and the two wires for the uh, the switch. You can see that I've used red and yellow. I know I was just going to keep those for the power, but I wanted more pretty colors. Terminal block here, this is the 6.3 volt coming in to, to do the lights. My grounding, I haven't joined anything in yet. Um, and then, so when it's all done, they're all going to be fed through this, so it's going to look nice. And then uh, this is where the wires come up to join to the pinscape. So it's a bit of a rat's nest, but it's all labeled. And it looks pretty because it's pretty colors. So uh, that's it for the day. I thought I would get more done, but I think I've done a lot. You know, I tend to overestimate what I can do, but uh, what I've done is a lot. What I need to do now are the flippers. You know, they're, they're buttons as well. They're going to be soldered to here, the wires. So there's going to be a ground. It's going to go back to the ground terminal, and then each button. So there's a flipper button and a magna safe. And then the wiring of the, uh, the plunger, which is a little bit different. It doesn't go through any power. Just go straight to the uh, pin skateboard. Then I've got to wire in this fridge. Uh, fridge. Uh, that's funny. Coin door switch. Just two wires coming out of here. Got to wire the tilt bob. Flippers here, and then the. Uh, this is wired differently. This is the shaker motor. So one goes to uh, the pin skateboard. There's going to be fuses involved and then power. And that's it for the wiring, I think. <laughs>